Hi, I'm James, and this is Did You Know? So the thing we're going to talk about today is the Rarados. Now, what is a Rarados? Well, it's probably the first thing that you notice when you come into the church. It's right here. Now, Rarados is just a fancy word that means big gold screen or ornament. So what are the first things that we notice about it? Well, like I said, it's really big. It's massive. It's also gold. It kind of sparkles and shimmers. And the reason why is that it's supposed to be the first thing that you see, because church is a place that reminds us of heaven. It's a thin space between where we are here on earth and a place with God. And so that's why it is golden. That's why it's big. It's supposed to call us to um, that place with God and to remind us of heaven. Now, there's lots of different things on the Raridas, and we could spend a lot of time talking about that, but there's about three that I really want to point out to you because they're super important. So here's number one. Do you notice this scene here in the middle? Does it remind you of anything? That is the Last Supper. And the reason why the Last Supper is in the middle is because this is right next to a table. It's an altar. It's where we celebrate the Eucharist. And because Jesus is there breaking bread and sharing wine with his disciples, we want that story to be very close to us as we break bread and share wine every Sunday. It's supposed to remind us of when Jesus did that with his closest friends. Now, the second thing that I want to point out to you about the Raridas is that there's all of these people who are hanging out, who are perched within it. And all of these different people who are in the Raridas are saints. And there's lots of saints in our Raridas, but I just want to point out a couple to you. Um, the first one is that big guy right there. Do you know who that is? Well, there's a couple of ways to tell. And the most important one is that you can see that he's holding a scallop shell. Um, and because of that, that's how we know that's St. James. It's our patron. The second friend of God, the second saint that I want to point out to you is that guy over there. You see him? That's St. Paul. He's carrying a sword and he's also carrying a book. And St. Paul is one of the most important characters in the Bible because he's a big part of how the church spread, how it grew. And now there's one more friend, one more saint that I want to show you in the Raridas today. And he's right here. You can see that he's standing just behind the statue of St. James. And we know it's St. James again because he's holding a, a scallop shell on the staff that he's holding. But just behind James, we see John. And John was James's brother. And the two of them are together in the scene because this is uh, the scene in which they were both called together by Jesus to go and follow him. And they're important and they're on the Raridas because they were two of Jesus's earliest followers. They were two of his closest friends. Now I've got one more thing that I wanna show you on the Raridas, but first I'm gonna kick it over to Ava. Oh, hello. Come on this way. I want to show you something that you might have walked by a few times before, but I don't know if you've been inside. It's called the Resurrection Chapel. I've got the key. So this is the Resurrection Chapel. Out in the main space, we've got a big altar. And here things are a little bit smaller. Even though it's a little room, a lot of big things happen here. This is actually a space where we help people prepare for funerals. This is also a space where people can pray. There's a little kneeler here, we call that a pray do. And this is also the space where us priests often hear confessions. People can make an appointment to make their confession, which is a way that we in the church talk about how we say sorry, just like you might wanna say sorry to your parents or to a friend. So I think it's good for us to look at this picture right here it's Jesus coming up out of the tomb and he's comforting his friend, Mary Magdalene. She thought that he was dead and gone and it was all over. And he's telling her that it is okay. He is alive. That's what we do in this room. We say that it is okay, Christ is alive. That's why we call it the Resurrection Chapel. Pretty neat, huh? 
So now I've got just that one more thing that I want to show you, and it's a big thing. It's really important. Looking at the Raritas, there's all of these things that are in it, but there is one really big thing that's in the middle of it, and that's the big guy up there. That's Jesus. Now, a couple of things we probably want to notice about Jesus, the first of which is let's look at how he's dressed. Can you see that? He's wearing, you can see it's kind of draping down. He's wearing a stole. Uh, and he's also wearing a coat, uh, which is just a cape. Now, who else tends to wear stoles and fancy robes and things? Uh, well, priests do. And the reason why is not because we're necessarily trying to be fancy, but it's because we're trying to be like Jesus. And Jesus is the first and the greatest and the most high priest. And so every priest that you know wants to dress and act like Jesus. And those clothes that we wear are a way of reminding us of him and making that connection. Now, the other thing that you might want to notice about Jesus um, is how he's standing and what he's doing with his hands. He's kind of, he's standing like this and he's got his hands up like this, right? Well, who else tends to hold their hands up like this? Well, you've probably seen every single Sunday when we're at the table or at the table, um, that when we hold our hands like this, we're recalling Jesus at the Last Supper. And we hold our hands like this to remind us of God's presence with us in that moment, of God's presence with us when we break bread and share wine together, that God is particularly present with us, with all the saints in heaven, with all of our friends, that that's a moment where heaven and earth meet and God is especially there and it's particularly special. So, that is the Raritas, and now you know.